welcome and welcome back to my channel it's cash locks in life and today i am stuffing my first paycheck of february into my sinking funds so if that sounds like something you want to see then let's get it happy friday yay it's friday i'm so excited do you want to know why i'm going to tell you anyway number one i have happy mail to open Number two, tonight is my daughter's last basketball game of this season. Oh, that was my sigh of relief. <laughs> she played on two different teams, JV and varsity. And so three, three to four games a week, practice every day that she wasn't playing, like, and being only 14. So, of course, I am having to drive and pick her up and whatever. I need a break. So I'm thankful tonight's her last game. Hopefully they win. Go Eagles. And um, yes, I'm also happy because today starts Mardi Gras parades in Louisiana, or at least the area I live in. In some places, they've been doing them all month. So starting tonight is the first parade in this area. It's at 7 p.m. We won't make it because of the game, but tomorrow um, we will definitely be at the parade. So I'm excited. Um, if you're not from Louisiana... Mardi Gras is a big deal. Like, it's a really big deal. <laughs> so, um, we'll have parades from today all throughout um, until Fat Tuesday, which is what Mardi Gras means. And there's also a fair or a carnival where we live at. So, we'll be going to the fair. And, I mean, it's so, so, so much fun. So, if you guys have not been to Louisiana for Mardi Gras, make a trip. Okay? I'm just saying. So, um, anyway... Let's go ahead and open this first one up. And this comes from, of course, Hands and Bands. Hands and Bands. You know. <laughs> Elisha, she is so hilarious to me. And I love Larry. So, I kind of forgot what I ordered, but we will see. Okay. There's a card. Here's her business card, her shop information. I'll leave that up there. Just so if you guys want to order anything. And Tiffany, I hope you enjoy these. Thank you for trusting me with your designs. You are my last custom design for a bit. Hope you love them. Thank you, Elisha. I tossed in a few extras in a little. Oh! Thank you. Oh, and did you guys read that? I am her last custom design. <laughs> so I'm definitely saving this. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm excited. So I ordered these um, prop bills or this fake money because I can't wait to start actually using them. I may be a ways off, but I'm just getting prepared because I know that I am going to be there. So let's see what i have <laughs> do y'all see the vibes do you see the vibes buccaneers do you know what that means i am a tampa bay buccaneer cash locks in life look at that oh my gosh <gasps> look at that one. Oh my gosh oh fsu seminoles okay okay look at the louis louis Vuitton's my favorite brand Favorite luxury brand. I'll take that back. And there's another Buccaneers. Seminoles. Look at that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If y'all have not caught the gist by now, I am a huge football fan. Huge, huge, huge. Have been for years. These are my teams. Tampa Bay is my NFL team. And the Florida State Seminoles is my college team. I am from Florida, although I live in Louisiana, I am still a Floridian. So I tell everyone, a Floridian that lives in Louisiana. Now I've been here for about 11 or 12 years, <laughs> but I still rep Florida. So anyway, look at, look, Alicia, I couldn't have designed this myself. Like I had no clue what I wanted. I love these, love, 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 love these. And I thank you so much. For doing this for me and giving me the extra oh I didn't even see that one look oh my gosh love it love it love it these are so beautiful 
Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot wait. And look, this is $100 bill. So I should be able to use this in an envelope very, very soon. But anyway, I love those. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look, and don't be throwing. If you're from Louisiana, don't throw the Saints hate in my comments. I'm just saying. I like the Saints too, but Tampa is definitely my team. So um, anyway, let's just move this to the side. Go ahead and open the next one. Do y'all see that? <laughs> Look, I am in a great mood. Mardi Gras is like such a fun season. You can't help but be happy. The people in Louisiana are awesome too when it comes to Mardi Gras. <gasps> and I got some scratch offs. Do y'all see that? Yes. I see Larry. Oh, if I can open it. Another the thank you card. Thank you for your order. And look at this. I have a Larry. Two looks like tokens. What? To scratch off my scratch offs. Does that make sense? Scratch off my scratch offs. Oh, it's just one. So she has hands and bands on this side. And look at Larry. That's the cutest little thing. He's so cute. I'm going to have to hide this from my daughter. She loves things like that. So I have a rainy day scratch off for $250. It's so, so pretty. Okay, what else do we have? Home for $200 and gifts for $50. Okay, little small challenges I wanted to kind of do on the side. And of course, who would I be if I did not get Larry? So Larry Land is another scratch off and that's for a total of 250 and it's double sided. So yes, I am gonna add these to my savings challenges. Um, and I'll sh that video I'll record, um, it'll be for Monday. I'll record that on Monday or Tuesday, depending on how my weekend goes, you know, party time, party time. But anyway, Thank you, Alicia. These are so beautiful. I cannot wait to start using everything. And I'm super excited. I am. Okay, so let's get into what you guys came here for. I am so sorry to hold you, but I had to open that. I've been holding these envelopes for a few days and I, I just couldn't hold them anymore. I had to open them. So let's go ahead and get our cash out for today. So here's my cash and my cash envelopes from last week. My wallet is a mess and I need to clean it out. Okay, so first we're gonna see what we had left. No fun money, Amaya, I gave her her money. Personal, I have $6 in personal and in gas, I have five. Now, I think I'm going to keep my five in gas. Gas has gone down a lot, but you never know with the price of oil fluctuating. I think it's good to, um, and I've seen other budgeters do this. I think it's great to have a kind of like a buffer. So I'm going to keep my gas money in there and everything else I will restuff. This dollar bill is going to go into my dollar challenge. And then I will add this to my... Um, I think I'm gonna add that to my stuffing. No, I'm not gonna do it this $5 bill. You know what? I'm gonna save this for savings challenges. How about that? Okay, so let's see how much cash we have. I don't have any tens. Okay, all right, so I have to go fix my money. So let's go ahead and count and see what we have. Oh, gotta moisten the fingertips. So $675, $675. I don't have any tens. I actually had to go to the ATM today because um, 
I just didn't feel like driving to the bank. My bank is not close and I wanted to get that and get it done early. Let me show you all my breakdown for this week. Um, so these are the bills that are due. Total of, let's go a little closer, $11.35. My cash envelopes, my sinking funds. And so because I don't have any tens, I am going to have to figure out how to get these just right. Or, you know what? Let me go through my other envelopes and see if I have anything I can combine and give myself some tens. Or what is it called? Bill exchange? Let me do that real quick. Okay, so let's look in the sinking fund binder. Do I have any tens in here? Those are fives, twenties. Here's a 10. Oh, but it's just one. That's not going to work. Let's see. How many fives do I have in here? Oh, is that just one five? Okay, so I have two fives. Oh, that's not going to help me. I need tens. All right. And clothing I have two okay no tins in here let me look in my savings binder so I don't know if you guys see this I'm gonna explain this next week <laughs> when I do my video but let's see I should have tins in here yes One, two, three. So I can take two of these and replace that with a 20. <laughs> Is this like semi my first bill exchange? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, while I'm here, let me go ahead and put this dollar bill in my dollar challenge. Okay. Any more tens? I think there's only one in here. Yeah, I only have one in there. Let's see what we have in here. Nope. Maybe the two tens will work. Let's see in here. I have, okay, there's 20. So two fives and a 10. And I'll take the 20 back. All right, I think that might be enough. Okay. All right, sorry about that impromptu bill exchange. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on our cash envelopes. For gas, I'm going to put 70, 20, 40, 60, 70 to go along with that five. Okay, phone money. I'm putting my money in here too, so a, a 20 and a 10, 30 total. I'm waiting on my other set of envelopes to get in. And so when those get in, I can um, separate it. So that's fun, buddy. Personal is going to get $20 this week. Okay, Amaya's getting 10. Oh no, there's two, two fives. Amaya's getting 10 this week. Groceries is going to get 200. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 80. 200. I did not place a delivery order this week. I'm actually going to go to the store. So that's why I have cash. All right. And in my giving, which I've been keeping in here, I'm just putting $5. 
Now these will go back into my wallet. Okay, so I really don't have exactly what I need. Let me come back to birthdays. Car maintenance will get 20. So now in car maintenance, we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20. I am not stuffing Christmas this week. Clothing is going to get, I don't really have enough, so I'm gonna put 10 in clothing this week. Okay, so now in clothing, and look, I'm gonna go ahead and take this 20 out and add a 20. So in clothing, we now have 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay. In household, we're going to put 15, 10, and 5. So now in household, we have 20, 40, 60, 7, 75, 80, 85. In medical, <laughs> I'm going to put five in medical. I actually had two appointments this week, two doctor's appointments, and I used my F well, I had my FSA card for both, and I did not use any of it. Okay, as I was saying. I had two appointments this week and I had my FSA card and I didn't use it for anything because when you go in for a wellness check or your annual visits, that's usually covered. So I'm just adding $5 today. So in medical, we have $20.45. I actually had a very high amount for my FSA one year and I, it was very hard to spend it all. So I lowered it this year and it still seems a bit high, but you know, you never can be too prepared. Okay, for Tiffany... We're going to get $40, all right? And now in Tiffany, we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, okay? Travel, we're going to add $100. So now in travel, we have 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60. Yay! My travel budget is like already spent and I'm trying to just add to it. Like I said, we're going on a cruise in April and then we have Paris in December. And in the meantime, my daughter is going to my mom in Florida for um, spring break. So her plane ticket should come out of travel, shouldn't it? Okay, well, I'll figure that out too. My month ahead is going to get 30. So 25, 30. Okay, so now in one month ahead, we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 65, 70, 170. Right. And I said I would come back to birthdays. Um, I do want to add, let's see, can I break down another 20? I need to add something to birthdays if I can. Let's see what's in households. Yeah, I'm going to take this out and add a 20. And I don't have any birthdays coming up, so I may just add $10 in birthdays. So now we have $30 in birthdays. Okay. Sinking funds are complete. Moving on to my long-term binder. All right. So 
So this is actually a Maya Savings. I'm waiting for the other labels to add. So for Amaya, we are adding $40. And you'll notice in this binder, my um, numbers have changed. And I went ahead and updated my trackers. So I completed, let's try and show you. So, no, this one was not a part of that, I'm assuming. This isn't one of them, is it? Oh, yes, yeah. here's the binder. So. The $40 that I added on the 27th was from the money I completed in my 30-day challenge. Well, I've been watching other videos, and I noticed that other budgeters save their challenges. And I just thought, okay, when I save, I can put that money somewhere. And I probably still can do that, but I think it'll be more satisfying to save them and hold on to them to count at year end. So that... um. I see how much I save in one place as opposed to moving it around. So great idea. So I took the money back out. As you see here, I put move back and I put that back into my savings challenges. And that happened with all of these envelopes. So my balances have changed. But anyway, now in Amaya's savings, we have 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 280. Okay. And I'll update my trackers off camera. For, see, for college, we're going to add $20. And this envelope is empty again because I moved the money back. So let's just put 20. I'm not putting anything in debt right now, I don't think. Home, I'm going to add 20. That one is empty again. And investment, I'm going to add 20. So what do I have left? I have $10 left. And I'll put that $10 in debt. Okay, so $25.30 is now in debt. All right, what am I going to do with this lovely $5 bill? I think I will add this to my savings challenges for next week. And that's it. All right, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Happy Friday, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.